Hey guys, it's Brie. So today I'm going to be doing a really important video on a really serious topic. I have a huge pile of disposable pads next to me. Let me just turn the camera so you guys can see. Um, but basically, oh, there. Can you see that? Huge pile of disposable pads right there. The reason I have this big pile of disposable pads here is because these are going to be donated to the refugees in Calais. Regardless of what your opinion or your beliefs are about the refugees or whether or not they should be there, my personal belief is that as a woman, no matter where you are in the world or what situation you're in or where you've come from or whatever, you have a right to a safe and healthy menstruation. That currently isn't the case with the refugees in Calais. The women down there, they don't have, they have very poor sanitation. There's hard, there's very few facilities for a lot of people. Um, it's kind of nicknamed the jungle, the Calais jungle, because of how desperate the situation is. And you might have heard a lot about it recently in the news as well. But the one thing a lot of us don't think about is how you have your period in this sort of situation. And it even didn't occur to me until very recently. Now, I happen to know someone who goes to Calais almost every single weekend to help out with the refugees, and she works in the first aid tent as well. So, her name is Sophie. She runs Baba's Mum, or Baba's Bum, on Facebook. They make cloth pads and reusable nappies as well. And she goes every weekend, and so I said to her I would help her out, and I will try and get you guys to maybe help me out with donating, and I would send all the stuff to her, and I would do a video as well to raise awareness. So, I have all those pads here, and I also have several packs of multivitamins. There are a ton of things that are needed um, in the camp in Calais. I will try and put on the donation page down below a list of all the things that they need. This particular donation page I've got down below is just gonna be raising 60 pounds, that's all I'm after, 60 pounds for pads, and I will show you where they're going to go. So I just wanted to add in quickly here guys, the reason it has to be disposable pads is because for religious reasons some of the women there can't use internal protection such as tampons and menstrual cups and also there's very poor sanitation so cloth pads are just out of the question and there isn't anywhere for them to be able to sterilise a menstrual cup. So for that reason I'm afraid it has to be disposable pads as that is really the only viable option. So first of all, the pads I have here are all like the basic ones that you can get from, in this case, Tesco's and I figured I would show them to you because you know, if you're at the supermarket and you're just thinking, going around with your normal shop and you're thinking about maybe donating, all you need to do is throw an extra one in your basket and maybe this would help you decide which one you want to pick up because they're really not that expensive and, you know, they will change somebody's life who has no access to any kind of menstrual protection at all. So first of all, I will start off with like the best quality ones and work my way down. These are the Tesco Ultra 28 wing pads. I have... Four packs of these, the jumbo packs, because they work out cheaper per pad that way. So it's about four packs of these. I don't know, I can't quite pick them all up. Um, I also have a packet of the 24 uh, Tesco's Everyday Maxi Days. And then I have five packets of the Tesco's Everyday Value 40 Ultra Towels. And then I have six packets of the Everyday Value 10 Press On Towels. So, the winged... Ultra winged towels, they are the highest absorbency of the pads I have here, and they also are the, probably the best quality, the best design ones. So they come in a little, um, like the wrapper, typical wrapper you get with pads, and this is what they look like unwrapped. They're the only um, winged pads I have here, so wings, they're about nine inches, I think, and as you can see, it just looks like a normal pad. These ones were, I think for the jumbo pack here, it was £1.40, so again, they're really not that expensive, so I believe it was about about 75p for a single pack, 79p, it was 70 something for a packet about this size rather than the double one, but it works out cheaper per pad if you get the jumbo pack. That was that one. The next one down is the Tesco's Everyday Value 14 Ultra Tiles. They come in a packet like this. So they don't have any wings, but they are individually wrapped. This is what they look like. I opened them up because they can still go to Calais, even if they've been opened, as long as they're obviously not used. Uh, no wings, but it is still kind of contoured. This is a bit longer. This is about 10 inches, I think. And it feels like it has the absorbency in the center. I've never used these, but you know, if you've got no protection at all, I figure something is better than nothing. So that's the Everyday Value Ultra Towel. 
The next one is the Maxi Day. This is for 24 towels. This I think cost 80p, um, but they only had one there or I would have bought several packets of these. And this is what these all look like. So they're quite thick. They've got a lot of absorbency in them. And they're also contoured and they have obviously the adhesive back. They all have an adhesive back. That's what they look like. And they come unwrapped in a pack of 24, like this here. And then finally, the 10 Press-On, Everyday Valley Press-On Towels look like this. Very, very basic, but you have to remember when you've got nothing at all, you want something. And these are available in regular supermarkets, so they will still absorb. They're very thick and cushioned and padded, so they should still absorb quite a bit of blood in there. And then there's the adhesive strip on the back. So, um, these are the really, really cheap ones. These are 15p for a pack of 10. So, I mean, if you can, hopefully you can afford to put a um, pack of those in your shopping with you if you want to. Then, I said before, the Maxi Day ones, these for a pack of 24, 24 are 80p, 80p, not 18. And then the next one is the Everyday Value 14 Ultra Towels. These were 65p, I believe, for a pack of 14. And then the ultra thing to the double pack was £1.40 for a pack of these. So what I'm aiming to raise and the ones I'm aiming to buy with the donation scheme I put down below is I'm aiming to buy a whole load of the everyday press-on towels because this is the one we can buy the most of in bulk. So just £60, which is how much I'm aiming to raise down below, will buy four thousand of these pads so even if you can only donate one pound fifty that would still be a hundred of these pads and three pounds would be two hundred etc etc so whatever you can donate it really really will help for this cause um i know it's just been christmas and we've all spent lots of money but it's the time of giving and hopefully we can give these women in the refugee camps the chance to have a safe and sanitary menstruation. So I hope you guys will help me with this. Thank you so much for watching. I'm taking a little bit of a break from the videos, but I wanted to get on here and do this one because I felt it was such an important video. And I really, really hope you guys will donate. And thank you so much to those of you who do. I said, I think I said before, I will leave the link down below. Um, it's a PayPal link. It's through Fundraiser. It's my favorite site to use. If a lot of you want to pay with credit cards, tell me in the comments below and I will set up another one for credit card payments because this site doesn't take credit cards, only takes them through PayPal. Um, just in the past, I've always had more success with the PayPal donation ones than the credit card donation ones, but if you let me know, I will set one up and I will put that underneath the fundraiser one. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will try to get some more videos up after the New Year's, just taking a bit of a break at the moment because um, it's the holidays. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you later. Bye. Thank you.